should be looking at the camera at myself I always have this problem I am at um, Raleigh I am getting my hair cut today I'm supposed to be getting like a curly cut but I think I want bangs and what's wrong you want to come in and I think I want bangs and just something new so I'm getting my hair done I haven't gotten my hair done by someone else in maybe four years it's been a minute um, the last thing I got was braids maybe actually it was 2019 so two years um, and that was all I got was braids I haven't gotten anything like done to my natural hair ever and I haven't gotten anything done like straightened in like four years so I'm very excited um, I'm going to let you guys know how it goes um, and and <laughs> we'll we'll keep you updated so this is what my hair is like now I just want to show you guys like it just it needs some type of shape I call myself cutting a little bit of it and I definitely did a bad job it just looks so flat and I want it to be more more <laughs> I want it to be more voluminous like at the roots instead of just kind of angling down so hopefully we're able to fix that and um, I hope it comes out cute at this point I really don't care what happens to my hair because it's just taking too much of my time and I just want to try something new um, so we're gonna keep you updated and I will see you guys after I get my hair done my hair appointment is at 7 and it is like 6 15 so I will see you guys shortly all right guys so this is what my cut is looking like and some of my pieces are like still straight I know I look like a, a raggedy Ann doll right now but I think it's gonna be really good when I wash it because it's going to um, the ends are going to curl up and I'll be able to see the shape more. But I think once I wash it and, um, you know, get the curls flowing because I did chop a lot of it off, it will be okay. My hair was to the middle of my back. It is to my shoulders now. Like, I don't have a lot of shrinkage right now. So I know when, it, when I wash it and it shrinks up, it's going to be very, very short. But I'm about to go to sleep because I was there all night. Um, it's currently 1 in the morning was there for five hours so I'm very tired so I'll come back tomorrow um and let you guys know what I think but I mean I know right now it doesn't look cute but I think it'll really look cute when I do it and yeah that thanks for coming to my TED talk all right guys so here is day two I guess this is the next day after I got my hair done um my hair is very very short um but i'm not mad at it or anything because for one the stylist she was honest with me she said your hair grows fast as it is so would you rather your hair be you know healthy and where you want it to be in the next three years or to still keep holding on to the damage and three years still go by so honestly I was like you know I've been wanting my hair I've been wanting a cut because um with having a baby around while a toddler um it just requires a lot of time and having super long hair like that required a lot of time so I just like okay if I get at least half of it cut off that could reduce my wash time by a lot um because if you saw in that video my hair was like down my back now this is like an elongated wash and go my hair does not come past my shoulder so there's that um it's a big cut to say it comes like at my collarbone and it was down here it's a lot <laughs> um that's a lot for a kind of split or for an in the moment decision but um i'm not mad about it because that's what i wanted um i don't necessarily like the way my hair looks right now because i would never wear it like this like when I usually do a wash and go my ends are curled but my ends are not curled because my curls are on the floor so um she cut my hair after it was styled which means you know all the curliness that would have been the wash and go got cut on the floor especially with cutting my hair literally like in half if not more than half so that's why I'm not really worried about how it looks right now because 
I'm, I know it's not gonna look like this when I do it. It's gonna be, you know, at least curled at the bottom. But I, I'm liking um, the shortness of it. Um, it's something different and I want it different. I'm gonna try and wear this out, see how long I can go with my hair looking like this. I mean, it's not, like I, I know I feel like I look crazy. This looks weird. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, see how it goes. I like the way my hair feels though. My hair has never felt like this. It feels very like, I can feel all my strands. It doesn't feel mushy. Um, my hair is actually dry. Usually my hair is still wet at the roots. So it's actually dry and it's just, it feels really good. So I'm gonna make another video about all the things that I've learned about this because I did learn a lot of great things that I wanna share. So as I'm getting educated, you will be educated. And I'm going to leave, I'm, I'll make another clip of just how my hair like grows throughout the week. All right guys, so I'm in my daughter's room and um, it's officially been one week since I got my hair cut. I did um, a full wash and go, which I'll be posting that video soon. Um, but when I did my wash and go, the reason why my hair was looking crazy after I left the hairstylist is because she didn't cut enough, which she was saying, you know, I told her, she was like, what kind of, you know, cut do you want? And I told her to just cut it in half. And, you know, that was a lot of hair. And she was like, well, she didn't want to cut too much because it was kind of like in the moment decision. She didn't want, you know, me to be upset after I got home and realized what I did. So, um, she did, she just cut it in half and then like cut around to make it a shape. But, um, the front, the top of my hair, she didn't cut enough. So, um, it looked damaged. That's why it was curly and then straight and just looked crazy. So, um, what I figured out is that I had a lot more damage than I thought. I thought it was just like, you know, the way my hair felt. I didn't realize it really impacted the way my hair looked. Um, at, cause as you can see, like it was curly in the back, it looked really good. But then at the top it was like curly and then it went straight and it looked like I had heat damage. Um, and I definitely didn't have heat damage that I know of, um, because my hair, it didn't really lose its curl pattern. Um, but obviously it did because my hair wasn't this curly. So what I went and did was I cut, um, as much of the straight pieces as I could see. I'll have to cut again once my hair is like wet and I could really see the difference. Cause like at the top, you know, my curl pattern is just naturally looser, but you know, like right here, I might have to cut some of this cause it's not the same pattern as what's up here. But I think my hair looks really, um, I was about to say really good. I think it looks really curly <laughs> and it looks um, a whole lot better. I still have to figure out how I want to wear the style. Um, and I definitely have to work on my technique for this wash and go, but you know, it's a good first shot and I definitely can't wait to see how it really looks as it grows out and as I continue to do it. So um, that is all that I have for this whole video of how my cut went. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, make sure you, you know, leave that down below. Um, if you like this video, make sure you leave a thumb up and if you have not already done so make sure you hit the subscribe button so that is all i have for you guys today and thank you so much for watching